Hello, everybody, and welcome to our final episode of our FM21 beta series with IAX. Originally, I planned on daily uploading this all the way till the release of the full game, but as this is going to be the final game of the season, and it's going to go out on Saturday, it just doesn't really make sense to continue the series as we won't even get close to finishing off the second season. So I'll just take a couple days off and relax a little bit. And then on Wednesday, we will be uploading our first episode of our full FM21 series. Now I haven't announced which team I'm going to do yet, but I already have them picked out. And I'm really excited about the series that we will be doing this season. So today's episode is going to look like this. We'll play the final game of the season, which is against Venlo. And then we're going to go over all of the end of the season stats and awards. And then we will ride off into the sunset. And before we do kick off the final game of the series, we did play one game since last time. It was a 2-0 victory over FC Emin, Anthony, and Huntar. Got the two goals in that game. Not that it really matters too much. Here is the league table though. There are at least two records that we are playing for. If we were to get a victory today, we'd finish on 90 points, which would be a new record for Ajax and the area of VC in general. And Andre Onana is looking to break the Ajax most clean sheets in a season record. He is currently tied. So we're looking to get a victory and a clean sheet today to get those two records in the book. Uh, team news. We're going to be playing our strongest team since we got some records on the line. And that since we're not going to be continuing this series, I'm not going to be playing the youngsters at the start of the game. Typically, if there was nothing to play for, I would have our youngsters in there. So let's go ahead and we'll get this one underway. The teams are out, and we are underway here. Come on, Ajax, let's end off the series on a high. We have an early highlight, trying to play it out of defense. Onana plays it up to Quincy Promise. Cuts inside, looking for some options. He's going to go all the way, it looks like, at the moment. And it wasn't a good option as he gets tackled. But we have won the ball right back. And we were looking to pump it forward. Finlo clear it out, and we're back on the ball, playing it out from defense once again. Nerez on this right-hand side, plays it up to Anthony, looking for options. He's still on it. He plays it back to Nerez, who finishes that goal. It is his 28th goal of the season. That number could have been even higher. I would say the final third of the season. His goal scoring definitely slowed down. So he could have easily gotten plus 30 goals this season. But hit 28 is very, very good, especially from the wing. Corner for Ajax, whipped in by Tadic. And it falls to Alessio Romanoli. Gets deflected, but a goal is a goal. It was a great header down. Was that from Alvarez? Yes, it was. Center back to center back. A harsh deflection there for the goalkeeper, but it's 2-0 to Ajax. Highlight here, Venlo bringing it forward on the wing, but Alvarez cuts that out. Ajax bringing it forward now. Tadic looking for options. He plays it back to Nerez. To Klaassen, who picks out Anthony, who has picked up a knock, but it doesn't affect him as he nets his 26th goal of the season. Putting Ajax up 3-0, 39 minutes into the game. Great job from Ajax right there. Beautiful stuff. And there is the halftime whistle. A very dominant first half for Ajax here. 3-0 up. Venlo have had one shot, none on target. Really, really dominating them here. Keep it up in the second half and let's keep a clean sheet. 
First highlight of the second half, free kick for Ajax, and it's a second goal for Alessio Romanoli. Neres taking the free kick, picks him out on the far post. No deflection this time, just a really nice header, 4-0. Highlight here for Ajax once again, looking for goal number 5. Ryan Gravenber hits the side netting. Corner for Ajax, David Neres steps up to take it, and Romanoli almost getting a hat trick right there. Unfortunately, it goes straight to the keeper. That would have been a way to end off the series, a hat trick for a center back. But we're right back on the attack here. Bande gets tackled. Venlo looking to bring it forward. Let's not concede here, guys. Step up and uh, block him off. Wow. That is how we lose the clean sheet with a very ambitious shot, and it somehow beats Onana. Should have done better there, and that is where his record-breaking performance is going to end. He will not break the record. He will stay tied. Ajax looking to respond and get that fifth goal. We're bringing it forward. Play it back to Mazwari. He plays it up to Nachi Unavar, who nets his fourth goal of the season. The very young midfielder playing a lot off the bench this season. Definitely one for the future. Great ball from Mazwari. Very good control from Unavar and a great finish. 5-1. And here is likely the final highlight of the series. Will it be a goal for Ajax? We win it off of him. And Gravenber is bringing it forward. Plays it inside the daily blend. Uh, of all people getting on the score sheet. And is likely the final goal of this series. 6-1 for Ajax now. Great way to end off this series. And there it is, guys. A 6-1 victory for Ajax. I'm lucky to not get the clean sheet for Onana, but Ajax, the 6-1 victors here today. All right, guys, and here is the all-new end-of-the-season review. We're going to start off with the new arrivals. Obviously, all the kinks not worked out in this beta version as we made more signings than just this Mario Gila, which I actually never went over with you guys. Would have been a surprise for the second season. Yeah, basically he's just a young 20-year-old center back who looks really good for the future. We loaned him back out to Spain. But yeah, obviously, oops, obviously we signed Alessio Ramanoli at the beginning of the season. So he should have been listed here. Going over here now to the season's results. League table, we absolutely smashed it this season. 29 victories, 3 draws, 2 losses, a goal difference of plus 94, finishing on 90 points. Second place goes to Otze, who finished a staggering 16 points behind us. Complete domination. David Neres leading the way with 26 goals in the area to VC. We switch over here to the Champions League. We made it all the way to the semifinal. Completely smashed the expectations of the board. They just wanted us to get to the first round of the knockout round. And we far surpassed that, making it all the way to the semifinal, where we lost by one goal on aggregate to Real Madrid. So very, very close to making the final. Dutch Cup was a competition to forget. Lost in the third round against Telstar, a team from the second division. 
simply was not good enough from us in that competition. We should have got a domestic double, and well, we fell flat on our faces in the Dutch Cup this season. Moving on to moments to remember, our biggest win was a 7-1 victory over Vitesse back on October 23rd. Completely smashed them. Match to remember was a 2-1 victory over Man City. And I'll be honest, I'm surprised that won. I would have picked the first leg against Liverpool as being the match to remember. Not only do I think Liverpool are a better team than Man City, it was a thrilling game. Probably my craziest game I can remember on FM in quite some time. But hey, a 2-1 victory over Man City isn't bad either. Goal of the season goes to Mazwari. And a 6-1 victory over Vitesse, who did not like facing us this season, losing 7-1 in 6-1 against us. Moving on to the finances, not really too much to see. Can't compare it to last season, as this is the first season, and you can't see how it compares to other teams, which hopefully they fix, because in previous versions, you would get this as a separate email, and it would give you a breakdown of how it compares to the rest of the teams in your league. But always one of my favorite things is the shirt sales. Our top seller was Quincy Promise, then Tadich, Anthony, Huntelar, and David Neres. I can definitely see that. Obviously Promise, Tadich, Anthony, and David Neres are all key players of our team. Huntelar, a bit of an Ajax legend. Moving over to how you lined up, this is our best 11 of the season. Got Onana in goal, Tagliafico, Romanoli, Alvarez, Mazwari. Interesting, Ryan Gravenber gets ahead of Daly Blind in midfield. We have him alongside of Klassen, and then Ramos, Tadic, Neres, and then Huntelar takes the place of Antony. Uh, that's a bit weird, as Anthony absolutely smashed it this season. So I don't agree with Gravenber or Huntelar. This is the beta version. There's some weird things like this that happens every year. Not a big deal. Um, Andre Anana, let's not forget, he did get a goal this season, getting a penalty against Feyenoord. Great moment. Don't want to forget that. That was definitely a highlight of the season for sure. Now moving on to the accolades. Looks like I didn't get manager of the season, or they haven't announced it yet, which would suck if I don't get it, because, well, we, we smashed the league. Uh, but starting off with the fans player of the season, no surprise, it goes to David Neres. Uh, hopefully they add the top three again, um, and you can see the percentage that each player got. That is always fun to see. But David Neres fully deserved a ton of goals and assists this season. And obviously because of that, he gets the Young Player of the Season award as well. Signing of the season obviously goes to Alessio Romagnoli. Goal of the season we already went over was Mazwari. Top goal scorer, David Neres with 26. Most assists, Quincy Promise with 14. Most player of the match awards, David Neres with 7. Highest average rating, David Neres with a 7.5. And I like that they haven't formatted it so we can see it was a 7.582758. That's, that's pretty funny to me. Um, but we have a couple of record breakers this season. Most assists by a player in a season... Dusan Tadic, who got 16, but if we look over here at most assists, it gave it to Quincy Promise with 14. Again, not something I'm worried about. It's the beta version, um, but that's funny. Most clean sheets by a player in the season, Andre Onana. He didn't actually break the record. He tied it, but good to see him get recognized with that. 
most player of the match awards in a season, David Neres with eight. But again, he got seven over here on the most match awards in the, during the season. That is funny. Also, Martin Stecklenberg broke our oldest player, 38 years old and 119 days when he broke that record. Competition awards. Uh, apparently, we didn't get anything. Uh, history in the making. Um, basically, we won the era to VC, and I think that is all for that. If we click finish over here. Record points for Ajax with 90, a new team record. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this series. Thank you so much for your support throughout the series. I appreciate all the comments that you guys were leaving and asking questions. I hope you guys stick around for our full FM21 series. It's going to be much different than Ajax. It's going to be starting at the bottom and working our way up to the top. So hopefully you join me on that adventure and challenge for sure. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the future videos. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.